Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be showing you my makeup room as well as an overview of my makeup collection. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will try to link everything that I can find in the description box down below. Now I am just going to be showing you just a quick overview of my makeup collection. So if you want to see more detailed collection, then be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this beauty room tour as well as an overview of my makeup collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. this side of my room which is to the right when you come in and you look to the right this is the area that I use to film so this table that is pushed up against the wall I think it's like the Mickey desk from Ikea I just pull this desk out and I set up my lighting behind it and when I'm done I just push it back up to the wall this desk is really nothing special I don't keep anything special on it because normally it's always full of makeup so yeah that is where I film and I got that chair from Ikea as well the light, I mean not the light, I'm sorry, the little mirrors on each side of the TV, I got those from Marshalls. They were gold and I spray painted them silver to match my theme. So on this desk, I pretty much only just keep a mirror because it's, like I said, it's normally always full of makeup and just new products that I have to try. I just have this Juvia's Place palette that I just got and this Dose of Colors palette that I just got. In this little drawer right here, I just keep all of the makeup that I have to try out. So right now, I just did like this full face um, first impressions on my high end makeup. And this is pretty much my drugstore makeup. I'm waiting on one box to come from Ulta and then I'll be filming that video. So right there is just, yeah, just where I keep products that I need to review in this drawer. It's really only techy stuff like my camera remote, you know, just some phone cases, my extra batteries and, you know, stuff like that for my camera. And right here at the bottom, I just keep my dirty brushes. Like these are brushes that I have to wash. So I don't have them stored with all the rest of them because I don't want them to get them dirty. But yeah, these are just where I keep my dirty brushes that I have to wash. So yeah, that is pretty much all for this wall i think that mirror i got it from marshall's as well as the picture frame behind it but um the little flower arrangement i got the flowers from michael's the vase from walmart and the vase filler came from michael's the bottom is just some blush vase filler and the top is some acrylic vase filler with kind of like sand mixed in it so i was trying to create like a little ombre effect so yeah that is that wall. This wall is pretty plain because, you know, no one right, ever guys, sees so it. So moving on to this wall, this is pretty much an overview of this wall. And on this wall, I just have two black shelf units from Ikea. Um, this little middle thing that holds my setting sprays and stuff, I think my fiance made that, as well as the cubic storages on the bottom. Um, these were my old videos. They were black when I originally purchased them, but my fiance painted them white. So on my first lac shelf unit, at the top, I just have this glass vase and I made it myself and I got the materials from Michaels. I think the flowers came from the dollar store. 
Next up, I have this little candle holder from at home and the candle did come separately and I just put some fairy lights in the inside of it to kind of dress it up because the candle that I put in there was battery operated. So every time I get ready to film, I don't want to have to, you know, pick the candle up out and turn the light on at the bottom. So I just put the fairy lights around the candle. On this next shelf is just where I keep some of my liquid lipsticks. Um, these are my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks as well as my Pure Cosmetics liquid lipsticks and glosses. And then I have just an Anastasia Glow Kit, of course. Um, just some stuff from Bath & Body Works that came in a gift set that my cousin got me for Christmas. And then on the next shelf, I just keep three more glow kits and just some body spray. On this next shelf, I just keep this acrylic storage because I mean, it's pretty and I bought it like that from Marshalls and I've been trying to find another one ever since I, ever since I purchased this, but I can't find another one anywhere, but I just keep pretty much drugstore palettes in that mask in the middle and yeah, just really nothing in the top. And just right there at the bottom, I just have like this empty lipstick tray. And then above that, I just have some Ikea little flower pots that I thought that I wanted to put my brushes in, but I don't because I don't like to store my brush. I like to have a top over my brushes. So yeah, those just sit there. All right, moving on to the middle. Up top, this little arrangement I got from Kirkland's a while back and I had this in my old makeup room and it was black and I spray painted it silver as well as my nail polish racks but those came from TJ Maxx and I just have my neutral colors right here on this side and my kind of I guess loud colors on this side <laughs> right here in the middle is just where I keep all my Juvia's Place palettes um, because I really love these palettes and if I have them stored away, then I won't remember to use them. So that's why I kind of store them right there. And I, the little stores, the little holder that they're in, I think that's like a letter, letter holder. I got it from Marshall's and it was black and I spray painted it blush to match my thing. Um, right here, these little pictures of me and my fiance, this frame I got from Burlington and I love this frame so much. Um, because it has like the little sequence in the frame, but they only have one. I wanted to get two, but they only have one. So that is that. And it was white and I spray painted it blush. The flowers, I mean the little vase I got from Walmart. And I don't know if you can see it because it's glass, but it just says be beautiful. And the bling up top, I put it on the top and the flowers came from Michaels. And right behind that, I just have like some little mini sample size primers that I have in that little jar. Moving right along to the middle, this is just where I keep all of my setting sprays up top, my moisturizers, eye creams and oils and all that in the middle. And on the bottom is just where I keep all of my primers. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the middle. In these cubic storages, I mean, I just pretty much have a lot of techie stuff, some boxes and you know, the stuff that I have for my giveaway, but I don't have like really any makeup stored in those. Right here on this shelf, on the top two rows, they're pretty much the same as the other one. On this row, I just have my Jaclyn Hill times Becca palette. And then I have my Jackie Aina times Artist Couture, as well as just some little scents and fragrances that I got from Bath & Body Works. It's in the scent Champagne Toast, and this is the body spray and the body lotion. Right down here, I just have my Carly Bible palettes because they are really pretty and they match the theme to my room. And then this little guy right here, he just holds my engagement ring when I'm at home because I never wear it when I'm at home. <laughs> and down here, um, I just have this little sign that says some girls are just born with glitter in their veins. And I got it from at home as well as this little jar that I have holding my mascaras and I made that. Right here at the bottom, I just have some more brushes on display, a Sonia Kashuk brush set. And this is what I had them stored in, but I took them out and I just, you know, set that in front of there. 
and then some more little brush holders and stuff that I made and that one is holding mascaras also <laughs> so yeah that is it for this wall so I'll show you an overview of that wall and this rug I'm sorry this rug I got it from at home as well all right so moving right along to this section of my room this is what you'll probably be seeing in my background a lot I had a cubic storage here um, if you can remember my previous videos there was one of these little cubic storage things right here but I kind of needed somewhere for people to sit you know when they come over and they come and get their makeup done and you know just sit in here so I removed the cubic storage and I put this little bench right here which I got from at home as well as both of the pillows um, well all the pillows so I got two blush pillows and one little pillow in the middle that says smile and sequence and the sequence is gold the trees I got from at home as well um, the base of the trees were gray and I spray painted them blush to match my theme next up if you move up this is just some wall art that I had um, I actually ordered these prints from Etsy the little collage I got from Michaels um, I think it was like 99 but I had a coupon for like 40% off or something like that but these prints are foil prints and I got them from um, Etsy and I'll leave the shop listed down below um, to where I ordered my prints from so this just says a girl should be two things classy and fabulous then this one is just a picture some brushes and some lips and then the big one in the middle just says wake up and make up and then another picture of the lips because I love those <laughs> and then another, a picture of a face and then there's this one and this one says give a girl the right makeup and she can conquer the world and then up top I just have this little um, where did I get this I think I got this from Burlington and it just says life's a party dress like it and it's just a little canvas so yeah that is the overview of this wall and I kind of put this right here because the TV is kind of like right across the way so that you know when you're sitting you can watch TV. alright and we're gonna move over to the last wall which is my favorite part of the room which is my vanity so this is just an overview of my vanity And on the wall, I just have um, up top, I'll start at the top first. Up top, these two signs on each side that says slay, slay, slay. I got those from Route 21 and I blinged out the slay words myself. And the picture of the lips I got from at home. The um, mirror my fiance made for me, so I really you know, I can't tell you what to get one of these from, but I can leave everything listed in the description box down below as to where I purchased it. I know I purchased everything at Home Depot, but yeah, he made this mirror for me. And then I just keep my little remote sitting right here. Um, it just has the on and off switch on it and you can just kind of turn the mirror on and off. So I thought that was really cool. He wanted to put a dimmer on it, but I really like it really bright. So I didn't want him to put the dimmer on it. <laughs> All right. So right down here next to this, these picture frames I got from Michaels and they were white and I blinged them out to myself. And this one just says eat, sleep, contour. This one says don't let today be a waste of makeup. And then if you go over this way, this one is my favorite one says success is the only option because I like expensive makeup, which is so me. So I really love that one. And this one just says home is where your makeup stash is. And I printed all of these off of Etsy. I paid, I think like three bucks for them and I printed them off. But I think you can just key in what you want on Google and print them out. I'm not really sure. Yeah. So right here on top of my vanity, I just have this spinning brush holder from Bella Posh 
organizers and I absolutely love this thing because it's really nice and it allows me to keep my brushes covered you know it has a little top on it so it allows me to keep my brushes covered like I like so these are just all of my clean brushes and when I clean my other brushes that I showed you then I put them back where they go so on one side I just keep my oval brushes and on the other side I just keep face brushes and at the bottom on one side I keep my clean beauty blenders and on the other side I keep my dirty beauty blenders that I have to wash um, this little flower arrangement, I got the flowers from Michaels. The little cup came from TJ Maxx and the burlap string wrapped around. I kind of did that myself. I wrapped the string around myself. So right here on top of my Alex add-on, um, I just have some lips and I got these lips from Michaels. And then I just have this little cup that my friend got for me. Well, my friend made them for me and she does an amazing job and she makes cups, she makes t-shirts. She can pretty much make anything that you want. So I'll leave her information linked in the description box down below. But yeah, um, this one just says to wake up and make up and I just have like these little cute unicorn brushes in them. And then I have another one right here that says, hello gorgeous. And I just have more makeup brushes stored in them. And like I said, I have them there for decorations. This mirror I got from Impressions Vanity. And I love this mirror so much. It was so expensive, but so worth it to me. Um, the mirror was, I think this is the, the Britney Bear Bling Edition because I got the mirror with the bling on the bottom of it. But this mirror has like a Bluetooth. Um, you can talk on it. You listen to your music like this thing is amazing so you just kind of push this little button and it comes on and then you press and hold and it dims it down and then you press and you hold it again and then you can cut it off so yeah it's really expensive but I mean it's kind of worth it to me I mean it may not be worth it to everybody but you know it's worth it to me so in the middle right here I'm just gonna sit this to the side so in the middle right here, I just keep, I just have my watch and, an, and my necklace right there. I just keep most of my liquid lipsticks and lipsticks that I wear all the time. I have them right there. And then I just have like this little candle from Bath and Body Works. And right here, I just have another organizer from Bella Posh Organizers. And this one doesn't spin, but I got this one so small because I mainly got this one for my eye brushes. So yeah, when my eye brushes are clean, it's full, but for now I only have like my clean brushes in there. Um, right here on the back, I just have this little planner sitting up against the wall. That's just to make appointments. And then I just have my little notebook right there. So I can write my ideas when I have little ideas for, you know, my YouTube videos that I want to do. So next up, I have on top of my Alex nine drawers, just my perfume. And I just have my ring light right there to give me some extra light while I film. But I just keep my perfumes and I bought this little tray so small to keep me from by, I mean, to keep me from, you know, just jamming so much perfume on here. So I only have five on here, which is good. And the rest of them I just keep stored in my bathroom, but these are some of my favorite ones. So that's why I put them there. This is my Juicy Couture, my Dior, my uh, Stella McCartney's Pop, my Estee Lauder, and then Jennifer Lopez Steel. I've had this for so long, but it is one of my favorite perfumes. Next up right here, I just keep this little, um, this little glass box that I got from Target, and I just keep a lot of my stackable rings in it. And uh, my smartwatch just sits on top. And then at the back is just where I keep all of my Pandora bracelets because I love Pandora. So this is just all of my Pandora bracelets. And then on the bottom of here, I just kind of got it sitting down there. It's like a tennis bracelet that my fiance got for me. And then I just have some flowers at the back. So that is pretty much it for my room tour. 
there's the door and then you go back around to the same spot. So now I'm just gonna really quickly go over what is in my makeup drawers. I keep all of my makeup, my Alex 9 drawer and these two Alex 5 drawers. Now I didn't tell you about the chair. I think the chair came from Office Depot. So yeah, that's where I got the chair. My vanity, um, of course it came from Ikea. It is the, I think it's the Linman desk. I bought it as a set. It's the longest desk that they have. And then I bought the add-on to go on the top. And in the top of this add-on, I pretty much just keep lashes. These are just like some keys. Um, we just got a lot of doors put in our house, but um, these are just my, these are just my my um, lashes from the drugstore that I have in like, you know, variety packs. So I just keep that in this top drawer. And in this drawer, it's just where I keep all of my lashes that are, you know, just like in, in the pack. So I keep those there. So I pretty much keep lashes in okay, so these this is kind of This is an overview of just the lip stuff that I have on top of my desk. So I just have some of my MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks, my Urban Decay Liquid Lipsticks, my Milani. These are all Maybelline. And in here, it is just packed with all different brands of liquid lipsticks. This is some of my favorite liquid lipsticks. On the top right there, there's just ColourPop. And then right here, I just have some of my favorites also, which are two of the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks, a Buxom, um, the Marc Jacobs, and a Anastasia. And I have one ColourPop right there at the back. So yeah, that is what I keep up top on my desk. Now we're going to get into the Alex drawers. All right guys, drawers. so now I'm going to show you what I keep in my Alex drawers. So I'm gonna start with the two Alex 5 drawers that are um, at my vanity first. And in this first drawer, I just keep lip glosses and lip pencils, my lip balms and just scrubs at the back and my ColourPop lippy sticks. So that's pretty much all I keep in here. And like I said, if you want like a detailed makeup collection video where I just go through every single product, then just be sure to let me know. In this second drawer, it's just where I keep all of my concealers. So these right here on this side, I pretty much keep, keep my drugstore concealers, my high-end concealers right here. I keep all of my LA Girl Pro concealers in the middle. These are just some contour sticks and some color correctors here. And I just keep all of my like little squeezy tube concealers right here, as well as a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in this um, Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Right here, I just have like all of my little concealer palettes um, right here on the side. So I just have this Graftobian, I have my MAC, my NYX, Maybelline, two Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creators, and this e.l.f. one. Right here, I just keep all of my concealers that are in the little jars. So I have two Anastasia, two of the NARS Soft Matte Velvet, two of the MAC Studio Finish Concealers, and that is a NYX Color Corrector. And in the back right here, I just keep like backups. And these are the Morphe concealers that I actually never used. And I got these when I got the, um, the 35-0 Matte in Shimmer but I actually never, I've never used it. All right, and this next drawer is just where I keep all of my powders. So these are like my bronzing powders, my setting powders, you know, any type of powder, you name it, that's what I keep in this drawer. Um, like I said, if you want me to get do a detailed makeup um, collection video, then just let me know. But yeah, this is just where I keep all of my powders. And this next drawer is just where I keep miscellaneous products, um, like all of my bigger palettes that I can't fit in those two drawers. So these are powder as well as, um, this is powder as well as cream. And then I just have two backups of my Sasha Buttercup, a backup of my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, um, and just, yeah, just some kits in here, backup of my 
CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer. So this is just stuff that's too big to fit in those two drawers. In this last drawer is just where I keep all of my foundations. So I know I have a lot of foundations, but you know, I do a lot of foundation reviews, but this is just where I keep all of my foundations. Um, right here, I just keep all of like my little squeezy tubey foundations. Right here, I keep all of my mousses and my concealers in the compact. And I don't have these like, you know, separated between high end and drugstore. So yeah, this is just all of my foundations. And these right here, these are just foundations that are too big to stand up. I won't be able to close the drawer if I stand them up, so I have them laying down. So yeah, that is it for that side of my desk. Right, guys, so now we're gonna start in the second set of drawers. And in this first drawer, I pretty much just keep um, like all of my eye products. Like these are all my eyeshadow primers, my glitter glues, you know, everything like that. And then I just have all of my um my eyeliners my cream i mean sorry my eyeshadow bases i have two three of the nyx eyeshadow bases my mac paint pot and my maybelline studio gel liner in black is black right over here i just keep jumbo pencils right back here is just where i keep everything i use to do my brows and back here i just keep my most used mascaras so that is what i keep in this top drawer. In this second drawer, it's just where I keep all of my brow products. So everything I use to do my brows, I keep it in this drawer with the conception, with the exception of my concealer. So these are my powders. Um, I have two of these Shea Moisture powders, two of the little e.l.f. powders, and then my Anastasia powder. Right here, I just keep all of my pomades, um, right here, this is just everything that I use to set my brows. And right here, just all of my pencils that I love to use. And I just have some shadow shields back here, as well as some mirrors and my trusty tape. And in the back, I kind of just pull that out. And I just keep like little backup brow products like I've, um, of the products that I like to use in the back. So that is that drawer. And this drawer is where I keep all of my blushes. So this is pretty much it because I, I don't have nearly as many blushes as I do highlighters, but yeah, all the blushes that I have, this is it with the exception of my Juvia's Place blushes. I have them stored over there with those palettes, but I just have a MAC palette, BH Cosmetics, some Tarte, some MAC, Milani, NYX, um, this one Becca, these Laura Geller, one Elf, these are NYX, no, sorry, these are Milani, these are NYX, these are Lorac, and these are Black Radiance. Then I have two ColourPop highlighters along with two little minis right here. And then I just have some NARS, some Sleek, um, this one Elf, my Too Faced blushes all right here in Too Wet and Wild, and at the back, I just keep like a couple of Tarte palettes, some drugstore palettes, but yeah, this is my blush drawer. Next up is my single highlighter drawer. So this is just where I keep all of my single highlighters as well as my liquid highlighters. So there's just like um, way too many of these to go through. Like I said, if you want a detailed tutorial just on my makeup collection only, then just let me know. But yeah, this is just where I keep all my highlighters. Um, these are all MAC. Um, I think Estee Lauder, my Ofra highlighter, Anastasia Makeup Forever. So yeah, there's just a lot of them here. Then I have all my Becca ones right here. And this side right here is mostly all drugstore. I have two Jeffree Stars right here some Wet n Wild, um, and a backup of one of my MAC highlighters. And right here, I just have my ColourPop highlighters, and like I said, right here are my liquid highlighters. And at the back, very back, I think I have like some Wet n Wild highlighters back there. So yeah, that is it for that. Pay no attention to that makeup. I 
I um, waste on the carpet. <laughs> and then in this last drawer is just where I keep um, eyeshadow palettes. I mean, sorry, highlighter palettes. So I really don't have a lot of um, palettes, but they won't fit in that drawer. But most of my Anastasia palettes I kind of have sitting out around my room now. So yeah, these are just all my highlighter palettes. And yeah, that is the last drawer. So now we're going to move on to the Alex 9 okay, drawers. So in my Alex 9 drawers, this is what I use to store most of my eye makeup. So in this top drawer, this is just where I keep all of my ColourPop shadows. And then I just keep some glitters at the back. In this second drawer, it's just where I keep like a lot of loose eyeshadows. Like over here, I just have pigments and glitters and stuff like that. Then right here, I just have my NYX um, single shadows. Right here, I just have my Milani single shadows along with some L'Oreal Infallible shadows, this Urban Decay shadow, and then I have this one Buxom shadow that I got as a 100 point perk at Sephora, but that is what's in there. Right over here, I just have my Maybelline color tattoos and some Elf smudge pots back there and just some stuff that I depotted, um, some pigments at the back. And right over here is just where I keep like all of my, all of my liquid glitter, I guess you could say. So all these Stila's, all of my glitter eyeliners and you know, stuff like that. I have some Revlon ones, my Urban Decay. That's just where I keep all of this. And these little um, dividers I made myself. So yeah, that is everything that I have. To, all the dividers in this Alex 9 drawer. All of my other dividers I think came from either at home or Walmart. So I'll have them linked down below. So in this drawer is just where I keep my most used palettes along with my Melt Cosmetics shadows on the side. So these are just the palettes that I love to use the most, which is my Leroy California Dreaming, my Anastasia Times Mario, my Leroy Unzipped, my Leroy Unzipped Gold, um, my new two palette by The Bomb, my Leroy Pro 1 and 2, this Anastasia palette, and I have all of the Too Faced palettes, the Chocolate Bar palette, the Semi Sweet, the Bon Bonds, and the Sweet Peach. Then I have the Naked 3, the Naked Smoky, my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, which I keep in this little packaging because I don't want it to get super dirty. And then I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. Then I have my original Urban Decay Naked palette, which I keep in the packaging also because you know it's the same type of packaging as this, and I don't like it to get really dirty. So yeah, I just keep it stored in there. So that is everything in this drawer. All right, so in this drawer, I just keep all of my bigger palettes. So these are just palettes that, you know, I can't just like sit up in the drawer and close it. So I just have them all laying down um, in this drawer. And this is just a backup of the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette because I love that palette. So yeah, that's everything in that drawer. This next drawer, I just keep all of my Morphe shadows. So this drawer is pretty simple. I just have the 25 A and B and then I have three palettes each of Morphe on each side. So yeah, that's just what I keep in this drawer. In the next drawer, this is where I house the majority of my other palettes. So everything that, you know, I don't have in the other two drawers, I pretty much kind of keep in this drawer. So I just have my Huda Beauty palette, my Kylie palette, some Z palettes. And then this little thing, I don't know why I didn't glue it down, but yeah. And then I just have my Dose of Colors palettes, you know, just all my other palettes I have in this drawer right here. In this next drawer, this is where I keep miscellaneous stuff, kind of like eye makeup remover, you know, extra beauty blenders, extra setting sprays, just stuff like that. So yeah, that is just everything that I keep 
in this drawer and that is pretty much it because there is nothing in these last two drawers. So yeah, that is pretty much my entire makeup collection and my room tour. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions about anything in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get everything answered for you guys right away. So here's a quick overview of my beauty room again. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. And don't forget that when my channel reaches 5,000 subscribers, I will be having my next big giveaway. So don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win. Until the next video.